The fracture we're going to look at uh, just now is a, a fracture of a femur in a French bulldog. You can see here, it's quite a simple fracture, but there is a little fragment of the back here, so it wasn't totally reducible. So what we, we wanted to do was look at um, placing a plate and a rod. So in terms of a, assessing the fracture, we wish to um, think about what implants would work well. If we draw around this here, like so, it allows us to move the, the, fra the fracture or the fragment realign it and have a think about implants. So because of the fragment we were planning to use a plate rod construct so we were using a, an LCP in combination with an intramedullary pin. So the LCP we chose a 2.7 LCP put around here and we thought a 10 hole one would fit on well so it's trying to take up around about 80 to 85 percent ideally about 85 percent of the length of the femur um, but it's offering you know, definitely scope to get a good three screws in the distal fragment here. That was the plan. And also there was the IAM pin, intramedullary pin, in combination with this LCP plate. In terms of the, the, the caudal cranial view, you can see here the kind of uh, nature of the, the fracture and where it was. So post-op, this is what we had. We had the intramedullary pin, you can see it up the top there. And we had the 10 hole 2.7 LCP. These are all locking screws. You can see the small fragment of bone here, but they're all locking screws that we placed. And on the caudocranial view, I think the main thing that's uh, apparent is just the extent of the, the bending and contouring, to some degree, of the, 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 the LCP plate. And that's even taken into account as a locking plate. There still was a, a, a significant amount of contouring and especially twisting required to uh, ensure the correct spatial alignment of the femur. Follow-up x-rays taken around about eight weeks post-op and they showed gr uh, good healing of the, the femoral fracture down here, really a lot of remodeling, you know, good healing of the bone, and no implant loosening or issues with impingement of the stifle. On the caudal cranial view, Again, a good healing of the fracture, no implant loosening, no issues were apparent. So all around we were really pleased with this and there was minimal lameness. So I think the lessons from this are that even if the fracture looks like one that might be quite simple, like it did at the start here, trying to actually reduce this would have been the wrong thing to do because the fragment there, that wouldn't have been effective. Whereas what we did, using the, the plate rod combination, enabled there to be good healing of the fracture, no implant loosening, good spatial alignment, the patella you can just make out healing uh, nicely down, or sit nicely down here. And so all around we were pleased with this. If there's any fractures we can help you with, please get in touch at Roundhouse Referrals on, in Glasgow.